to be here. Wow, is that? <laughs> she is a great. I'm 70 years old. So oh, thank That's you for having me. Welcome. Um, what a dream. I mean, in many, many ways, not only is she just a formidable character, but also for you, you manifested being in Coronation Street from so a very nice. young age. I did when I was 14 years old, and now I'm there on the cobbles. It's and you surreal. wrote a poem, is that right? I did. I wrote a poem. I, like in a little notepad that I had. And I said, one day I want to be on the set of Hollyoaks or the Cobbles of Coronation Street. And my mum always kept it in a bedside table. And she's here now to read it. And, uh, <laughs> and here's Paulie. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, she, yeah, so I read it and she, she kept hold of it anyway and so she couldn't sweet. believe when I got the part. But obviously when I moved out, my mum kept all of my stuff. So she was like, you can take it back to your house now. I've stored everything for years. So I need to get it out and find it. That's it. Yeah, and I need yeah. to post it to, to so share with like you all. What's like when you got yeah. the part? Like, if this is something you've wanted since you were 14, to get this job... Yeah, I was really amazing. grateful, you know. It was an amazing moment. Um, I was at home with my partner and... It all happened, like, really, really fast. Mm. Um, and obviously it's such an iconic show, you know yeah. what I mean? It's been in the homes of, of everybody yeah. and, um, and now I'm in it. So, yeah, it's amazing. Well, let's talk a bit about her because obviously we can see what she's been up to, <laughs> but things are set to heat up a little bit this week. And we've got a clip here which I think answers my question, which is, is this affair going to be exposed? Let's have a look. <sighs> Anyone could come in through that door. I thought you liked the risk. Talking about me like that in front of Darren. The knowest we're gone. Just one more kiss. Oh. Mm. I mean, uh, yeah, Deb knows. It yeah, had to happen sometime. <laughs> yes, it's <laughs> you know, all like, coming out. You've had. Yes, I know we've got away with it, but it all it all comes out now. Deb catches us right in the act. And, um, yeah, there's some brilliant scenes that we filmed. Can't wait for everyone to watch them. So, I guess, you, you, like, she's not a bad person. I feel like when you, when you look at her life, I feel like there's... Her actions are obviously due to some sort of insecurity, you know, with, with Darren and the cheating yeah. and all of that. I feel like this is behind all of this. You can't help but feel for her in some ways. Yeah, definitely, it. yeah. Like, she's like an onion with layers. Like, she's been through a lot. Mm. And it's all a bit of a front, you know. I... As, as the scenes have progressed, I've started to feel really sorry for Courtney because you can tell, you know, she's she she grew up in a council flat. She's never had real love before. I don't think she knows how to love. You know, she's yeah. got really unhealthy relationships, unhealthy boundaries. Um, and then she met Darren, this guy who's got all this money. So in her eyes, she's like, well, this is better than where I am. Yeah. I'll take this. But it's a loveless marriage, mm. you know, yeah. and he's cheated on her. And I think initially for Courtney, this was like... OK, I'm going to show you how you've made me feel mm -hmm. to Darren, uh, who plays... Uh, who's, who's Ryan, who's absolutely amazing. Um, and then, obviously, she meets Ardy. And I think, at first, it was a bit of a game. But then he really loves her for who she genuinely is. Yeah. You know, she can drop that mask. She can, you know, eat a kebab. It's and she's real. Just, it's real. It's real. It yeah, real. but he's not got the money. So it's no. like, what's she going to go for? When you yeah. start a job like that and get a role like that, how much... Do the scriptwriters and producers sit down and go, this is where we want to take it, and this is, like, for example, this is your background. This is... Well, how much of that do you kind of inhabit yourself? Do you know what I mean? How, how much of yeah. that do you add and just go, oh, I, you know, I figure she should be like this? Because you, yeah. of course, as an actor, yeah. you, you become the role, don't you? Yeah, you You're do. You're there every day, especially on, on, a, on a show like Courtney. Yeah, definitely. Um, I've added a lot in for Courtney myself, you know. Because you, you read it, you get a gist of, of, you know, who she is and where she's come from, but then, you know... It's my character, so I've gone deep into it, yeah. you know, like... Because and, and you want to do it justice, right? Yeah, you, you want to do it justice, yeah. You, you want to you give the, the best the best that you can give. Um, do they give you a little dossier when you start? And go, this yeah, they do, it. briefly, like, when I did the audition, like, OK, this is what, you know, she's with Darren, this is what she's... She's not come from, come from a good past, blah, blah, blah. But the rest is kind of down to me, and I've moulded her and, and, and put things in, and... Well, I, I call Dev the... Devi as well. That's oh, a new okay. thing, so Dev's called Devi now. And I've just put little little bits in yeah. to make on my own. Yeah. Well, yeah. Before we let you go, have you added in the fact that she's going to end up owning the Rover's return? Because the this room... Is what we're after. Right. She's got... You posted a picture, I think, oh, online with you rose. pulling a pint and then everybody went, oh, my God, everyone's saying she should be a businesswoman. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Marriage made in heaven. <laughs> you fit that. I mean, that looks good. Thank you. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? I could see myself being the landlady of the Rovers. To be honest, there was a fan theory, apparently, and I did not know about it. And then I posted this photo and it just went... 
wild. Listen, but I think she'd be a great. year old manifestation. Let's do yeah. some manifesting yeah. right now. Land Lady of the Rovers. Get you in the Land Lady of the Rovers. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Um, it's lovely having you back. So I know you took a little bit of time out after you had the kids, and it's just good that you've been back and to, yeah. to have this role and have this reception to it must feel good. Yeah, it's amazing. You know, I took time out to be a mum to Caben because. I didn't see him previously filming. It's long hours, yeah. you know, and I was I was leaving. Right. He was asleep. I was getting home oh, and he was gorgeous. asleep. And I wanted to do some soul searching of myself as well. You're singing as well? Yes, I'm writing music, yeah. That's fantastic. And all the music I've wrote has been... Because I went through a lot and they're all from that time. It's yeah. like a, a timeline of songs, so they're all really relatable and... And from the heart, you know, because of how I was well. feeling. Yeah. Well, we look forward to seeing what's going to happen to her. I think it's going to be a bumpy road, but Stay we're going tuned. to enjoy the ride, yeah. that's for sure. Um, Corey, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 p.m., ITV1 and, of course, ITVX. Thank you, Thank Carl, you. so Thank much. You.